Wow, I'm sure in a great mood today. Let me read some YouTube comments. So, he finally gave in to Russian propaganda and joined the ranks. I think comparing these two conflicts and playing the Russian victim card just proved that there is no hope for Russians. And the real color comes to life. No need to hide anymore. Russians don't change. You're starting to show your real colors. In the last, I don't know, three or four videos, I started to notice a shift in your attitude and opinions. So yes, you are Z after all. Poor Roman, pushing what about them and all the usual good Russian sh** they always push. Bye Roman, in the end, you are just a Ruski. Well guys, what can I say, this is it, the news finally came in, I am no longer considered a good Russian. You guys might be wondering, how did this happen? When I've been basically a spokenly critical of the Russian government for about 7 years now or something, all it took for me to become a subhuman Z orc is to make one video in which I disagreed with the current narrative of the West. And I personally found it very curious, so I'm here to talk about it. Now if you guys are unfamiliar with the whole discourse of quote-unquote good Russians versus bad Russians, I've already talked about this in another video called You're One of the Good Russians, in which I raised awareness of the fact that a lot of the people who are commenting and complimenting my videos have this sort of sentiment of all Russian people are essentially stupid orcs and zombies and they're all scum and they're all basically terrible warmongers, however you, Roman, you agree with our western views on the world and that means that you're actually one of the good ones, it honestly feels like a really backhanded compliment when, while you're complimenting me for my views, at the same time you are essentially decrying my entire nation and my people as subhuman, so it doesn't really feel that great at the end of the day. But now this entire discussion has kind of gone a little bit further because to out of touch westerners I'm no longer considered a good Russian at all because I disagree with the west one entire time. And that clearly means that I'm Z and that I'm spreading Russian propaganda. So, long story short, what happened is that recently I made a pretty controversial video called Why Israel is allowed to do everything Russia can't. And essentially in the video I brought up the topic of collective responsibility, how essentially all Russians are facing financial restrictions, travel restrictions, etc. as a result of Russia's <coughs> special military operation in Ukraine. And essentially all I did in my video is suggest that maybe perhaps the West is slightly hypocritical when it comes to the question of, first of all, the reaction of the West to uh, indiscriminate bombing of children, but also I pointed out the discrepancy between how Russian citizens are treated because of the actions of their governments and how Israeli citizens are treated because of the actions of their governments. And in the video I specifically said that I do not want Israeli people to be sanctioned like Russian people because that is not even my point. Here's the thing, I'm not even calling for Israeli citizens to actually get these, you know, pushbacks and for Israeli citizens to get fucked as much as we did. Because guess what guys, I'm a human being. And I realized that not every single person in every country is a hive mind that thinks the exact same thing. And also I don't think that every single human that comes from a particular country is responsible for the leaders of their country. Especially if we're talking about an authoritarian dictatorship, which Russia is. But yes, in the video I did draw some parallels between Israel and Russia and a lot of their propaganda and rhetoric. However, a lot of people completely missed the point, saying how dare I try to compare Hamas to Ukraine. Whereas that was actually not what I was doing. What I was doing is comparing bombing kids to bombing kids. That's all I did. And essentially the message of my video was that major western powers, specifically United States and a lot of westerners, actually don't really oppose colonialism or imperialism if that colonialism or imperialism is done by somebody on their team. However, apparently it turns out that if I criticize the West one singular time, or if my position slightly coincided with the position of the Russian propaganda, that must mean that I am being paid by Russian propaganda and I've actually been Z this entire time. And the truth is that Russians are all the same and they don't change. Thanks for showing us that all Russians are the same. Slava Ukraina and Slava Israel forever. Oh yeah, about that. When I released my video actually, what happened is that I got raided on Instagram and actually bombarded with messages from like hundreds of very angry Israelis that apparently came from some sort of Telegram page which posted about me and basically told these people to come over and spam me with Israeli flags and whatnot. And yeah, I got a lot of great DMs, you know, of people saying I should kill myself, call me a pig, whatever, but the funniest perhaps was when I got messages from Ukrainian Israelis that were saying that essentially I'm a subhuman orc, a Putin supporter, who like should go back to Russia if I love Russia so much or whatever. Ты долбоёб вообще. Ты орк. Да, вторгшийся в Украину вместе со своим дорогим президентом и сотнями тысяч таких же орков, как и ты. А мы защищаем наш дом от террористов. В сортире, можете, надеюсь. 
сука. Мы будем преследовать террористов везде. В аэропорту, в аэропорту. Значит, вы уж меня извините, в туалете поймаем мы и, и, и в сортире их замочим, в конце концов. Все, вопрос закрыт окончательно. So yeah, being called Z and a Putin supporter was a lot of fun. But yeah, so a lot of the comments in general on my video were pretty telling of how a lot of Westerners view Russians. You are on Putin's side now? Three laughing crying emojis. Yes, that's the easy way leftists think. So, egoism, anti-Semitism. <laughs> Criticism of Israel is not anti-Semitism, and I specifically had an entire point in my video that I do not want to spread anti-Semitic messages. And by the way, one thing that I do not want to turn this video into is basically like an anti-Semitic dog whistle or something, because no. I'm asking a lot of rhetorical questions here, however, the answer to my question is not Jews control the world or whatever, because I know a bunch of fucking Nazis are coming out in the comments now saying that. I'm not your guy, okay? You can calm down. I don't think Jews rule the world. You can crawl back to where you fucking came from. That was the whole point of my video, but of course. So egoism, anti-Semitism, victim blaming, whining about consequences, and excusing in action. Nothing out of the rules ordinary. Imagine, imagine typing this. My guy, you need to go back to r slash Europe or r slash world news or whatever fucking CIA PSYOP subreddit you came from. Like, this is, this is terrible. And of course, you take Hamas's accusations and numbers of that as being the truth. Yet more proof you're reverting back to a typical Russian again. I knew the good guy acts wouldn't last. The statement that I'm reversing to a typical Russian again, what is that? What is a typical Russian? A dumb person who can't do critical thinking and research, right? At one point, apparently, I ascended in your eyes so that you could actually, you know, approve of my humanity, but apparently now that you disagree with me, I am no longer human, and the good guy acts wouldn't last. Yes, I was just pretending to be a good person this entire time, and I've been Russian this entire time, you guys. And like they say, Russians don't change. Once again, totally not a Nazi thing to say. You can take the Russian out of Russia, but you can never take the Z mindset out of the Russian. Yes guys, once again, he got me. Opposing ethnic cleansing and genocides is being Z. Yes, I agree. I totally agree. I've bought my ticket back to Russia and I'm going to be attending every single Shaman concert. And all the content I've been putting out for years now, that was just a good guy act. Trying to appear nice to you Westerners. Because that's just what people do, they put themselves in danger and they leave their country because they want to appear nice to some people on the internet that they've never heard of. Not because they actually believe those things. But still, you know, I just really find it funny that all it takes for these people to start hating you and basically start saying you're subhuman is to have one single disagreement with their politics. That's crazy, dude, you know, it's almost like I was never considered human to them in the first place and it's almost like they never thought Russians were equal to them in the first place. And if you just don't happen to coincide with the West on one issue, it's over. And I would like to show you guys one more really interesting exchange that I've had. Here's the comment that started it all. Because Israel is responding to a terrorist attack. Israel has a 3,000 year old history. Have been, has been a state since ni- Jesus Christ, this is so hard to read. These people's grammar is dog shit. Has been a state since 1948. Palestine has never ever been a state. They are Egyptian or Jordanian. And in my opinion, this is an inherently dehumanizing argument made to portray Palestinian people as the occupiers. In fact, a bunch of people under my video did comment saying that the real settlers are the Palestinians, actually. Which is, you know... <laughs> I'm honestly speechless on that one. So I responded with this. Uh, interesting arguments. Reminds me of how Putin says Ukraine never existed until Lenin invented it in 1917 or whatever. Now this is actually one of my gotcha points that I use when I discuss Israel with people because actually pretty much most Russians and most Russian liberals especially, those that do not support Putin and Z, almost all of them are super super pro-Israel. And I think it's a little cringe, because in my opinion supporting Ukraine and supporting Israel at the same time is a pretty conflicting position. I mean it's not conflicting if you, you know, just are an NPC that follows whatever the United States tells you to do, sure. However, if you do oppose imperialism, colonialism, then I do think that it's a little bit of a strange position to be in. But yes, I use this point because a lot of pro-Israel people usually say that Palestine has actually never existed and it's essentially been invented to make the life of Jews harder or whatever. To which I'm with yes, Vladimir Putin in Russia also claims that Ukraine has never historically existed and actually that it's been Russian land all along. And I don't know, I think the parallel is pretty good. So then I get this response right here. You seriously are starting to lose it. It is sad to see how your miserable life as a Russian refugee stuck in Georgia is turning you into using idiotic arguments like this. Before I wished you could come to Europe, but now please stay in Georgia or go back to Russia. 
<sighs> having a normal one. That's all I can really say here, having a normal one. And then I responded by saying, how is me comparing his false dehumanizing rhetoric of Palestine has never existed to the false dehumanizing rhetoric of Ukraine has never existed idiotic? Then I'm getting a response from this woman saying, because what he says is partly true and what you say is just non-relevant BS. I think it is relevant, but... <laughs> the Palestinian identity sure exists today, but before there was no such identity, they saw themselves as Jordanian and Arabs. Do you even know where the name Palestine comes from? Why do you care so much? Why do you care so much? Is it because you're trying to claim that Palestinians are not a real nation and therefore they have no claim on this land? Because I think that's what you're trying to insinuate. Seriously, what happened to you? I'm sorry you feel trapped in Georgia, but talking like you do, you are seriously slowly losing it. To which I replied saying, so you are denying Palestinians rights to the land and saying that Jewish people are the only ones who existed on this land and therefore should have it all. Got it. Then this woman responds saying, people here are trying to point out the history of Palestinian identity and your stupid arguments about Ukraine and Lenin. It has nothing to do with denying Palestinians existence and believing in some kind of Jewish supremacy over the land. Well actually it does, because that's the bedrock of Zionism, but uh... Okay. Seriously, your dealer is giving you some bad quality stuff, you smoke. You completely lost it. Never thought I saw you using sources from a terrorist organization, etc. First of all, it is funny to me that me smoking weed is now used as an argument against me, but also... I did not use sources from a terrorist organization. I just used the headline from CBS News, which is stated that Hamas says that the death toll is this much. So, I didn't say that Hamas figures are completely trustworthy. And then we're finishing up with this. And stay away from Europe. It's people like you who enable the rise of anti-Semitism in Europe, so it's best to have travel ban on you. Once again, in my video I said that I deeply oppose anti-Semitism and criticism of Israel is not anti-Semitism. So, you know, this comment got me pretty pissed. I got pretty mad, so I responded with this saying, You are literally a fascist. Sorry you're too blind to see it in your own speech. Keep saying you want me out of Europe. I know you like to put walls over people and tell them where they can and can't live. <laughs> Sorry guys, I think I was like, I was kind of uh, spitting here. Gonna fire GIF. This was me when I was writing this comments. <laughs> and then she responds with, Yeah, calling Jews fascist is the new trend in the anti-Semitic community. Just look at your comment section, people talking about Kanye, Jewish media, control, and other conspiracy theories against us. Congratulations, you are even mentioned in a positive light on right-wing telegram groups. Stay away from Europe. Well, first of all, you just keep on exposing yourself because you believe that Jewish people cannot become fascists. I hate to break it to you, and I don't know if this is anti-Semitic to say or if this is crazy news, but any person of any ethnicity, of any religion, of any whatever, can turn into a fascist. There's no single nation on earth that is immune to becoming fascist. Guess what? The Russians also think that they're not fascist and that they cannot be fascist because, well, the Soviet Union and our forefathers, our grandfathers, they've defeated fascism, they've defeated Nazi Germany, we fought against it, so there is no possible way that Russians could ever be fascist. Yeah, you know, they have that belief, but uh, the fact is Russians are also susceptible to becoming fascists. So it is funny to me that the idea of calling a Jewish person a fascist means that I'm an anti-Semite. Okay, you're kind of missing the whole point because you essentially have a holier-than-thou mentality and you think you're above being a fascist, but guess what, you're not, and you are one. And also about people commenting anti-Semitic conspiracy shit, I'm not responsible for that, and I denounced it in my video specifically once again. I'm not responsible for stupid idiots taking my words out of context and completely misunderstanding them and twisting them to make their own sort of narrative out of it. I'm only responsible for what I say. You opened the door to this, and now you have to live with it. With our new laws coming against supporting Hamas or using their sources, you will never see Europe. And thank God for that. Again, I know, I know you support Israel, so I know you love putting walls around people and telling them where they can and can't live, and I know that, you know, God is the one that is telling you to do it. I know it. I get it. I see right through you. But first of all, I did not support Hamas, and I do not support Hamas. I think I've already said this like five times, but yes, this is in the Zionist playbook. To call anybody who sympathizes with children being blown to pieces in Gaza, Hamas supports her. And once again, no, I am not using Hamas sources. I mean, I don't know, I don't know, just the absolute irony of this is amazing. That a person who claims to be not fascist and to be civilized, to be representing the civilized West, is essentially using my position, saying that, you know, people like me should not be able to see Europe. Because we're not civilized enough. But somehow I'm like the fascist or whatever. 
Can you guys understand that there's people out there whose worldview is not based on what your dumb fuck propaganda is spouting to you daily? Once again, I don't know if this is like a crazy revelation to anybody, but not everything America does is inherently good and righteous. And I think you just need to get off of Reddit and talk to actually real people from the Middle East or the Global South about how they feel about America and what America has been doing to their countries and what influence it had on their countries. But still, my point is, at the end of the day, I'm Russian and Russia is what I focus on first and foremost, and I'm not happy where my country is going. And one of the reasons why I oppose Russia is because I do not really love imperialism and colonialism. And what I do is I just apply that principle all across the boards, even if it's uh, somebody from our team doing it. And that apparently no longer makes me a good Russian, so uh, you know, I should just die and never get to, you know, enter Europe like the rest of those subhuman orcs out there. Because any Russian that is not glazing Israel right now is essentially Z. Like, oh my god, how much of an NPC can you be? You do understand that people can have different views. You know these people out there who support Ukraine and Palestine? Do you know these people out there who support Russia and Israel? They do exist. Now, if you met a person like that, what would happen to your brain? Would it combust? Would that be a good or a bad Russian, you know? I don't know. I don't know. It's really, really difficult. It's almost like these labels are complete Nazi fucking nonsense made by privileged first world Redditors who don't know shit about anything and who just gobble up whatever the government tells them is the right thing. And that's the funniest part. If you people were born in Russia, you would be Z right now and you would be supporting Putin because you don't challenge the mainstream media in any way. You don't want to have a great understanding because obviously the United States will never lie to you. And the Russian people also think that Russia would never lie to them. So no question about it, if you were Russian, you would be like Colin Ford nuking Kiev right now or something. That would be you. So yes guys, uh, what can I say? I mean, I just wanted to make this video for a while now because honestly, this entire good bad Russian thing got me pissed and the fact that I'm getting dehumanized for disagreeing with the West on one point, it is very revealing to me, you know? Anyways guys, uh, this was a long-winded rant, I hope you guys did enjoy it though, if you guys did then please make sure to slap the like on it. If you do want to support my channel additionally, then please make sure to go over to the link down in the description and become a YouTube member, it's basically the best way to support me, it's like YouTube's own version of Patreon. I actually got uh, blacklisted from one of my sponsors recently because I did not stand with Israel, so uh, <laughs> or you can also do a super thanks underneath this video. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.